Well, good morning. And welcome to another grey morning here in Cambridge. Now, I owe you an apology. A couple of days ago, I released a video where I presented my January usage data for my heat pump. There was one part in that video where we looked at the coefficient of performance where I really didn't explain myself well enough. And I made a mistake. I made a mistake in the figures around the cozy tariff. So today, we're going to correct that. So let's start with the coefficient of performance data. Some of you asked how the combined COP in my chart was higher than the average of the individual two. Now you might remember, a couple of months ago I produced a video about how the app that you use to control your Daikin and the MMI, which is the in-house unit, were wildly inaccurate when it came to measuring how much electricity the heat pump would use. Now, for that reason, I installed a Shelly energy monitor into the consumer unit here, which gives me much more accurate data on how much power this thing is actually using. Unfortunately, the only way to get the uh, breakdown of how much electricity went to heat and how much electricity went to hot water is to use the Daikin numbers. So that's why when I broke the numbers down, and I did say in the video, that I don't trust those numbers particularly well, and I only really look at the combined coefficient of performance, that was why the numbers were different, because the individual breakdowns were from the Daikin app, and the combined was using the energy data from my Shelly energy monitor. So if we use the Daikin app, we'll keep everything equal, so all the numbers are the same, we're gonna use the rounding errors that are built into the Daikin app, we can see that we get a coefficient of performance for both hot water and heating of 3.09, down ever so slightly from the more accurate reading of 3.32 for combined hot water and heating. Now let's talk about the error that I made. And this is purely down to me. I didn't think through the calculations in quite enough detail. So when I gave you the numbers for the cozy tariff, what I actually did was took my usage data change the slots ever so slightly. So instead of doing it all in the early hours of the morning that I would do on Intelligence Go, I moved some of the, uh, the heavy usage into the cheaper slots for Cozy. But the problem there was that was my data that was with batteries and storage. And I wanted to give you the number, if you didn't have solar batteries or anything else, you would just run the heat pump on Cozy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you two numbers for Cozy now. The first is if you're just using Cozy, you're not changing any of your behavior, and you're just gonna run your heat pump 24 by seven, whether it be the expensive slots, the normal day slots, or the cheap slots. That would actually come out at 158 pounds and two pence for the exact same amount of heat energy that we produced during the month of January, but if you just used Cozy as if it was a standard tariff, it would be more expensive than using a gas boiler. But the reality is nobody's going to do that. Now, it's very difficult for me to adjust my usage data because, like I say, I do have battery storage. But what I've done is I've basically taken out the very expensive period. That's from four till, I think it's four till seven every single day and assumed that you probably wouldn't run your heat pump during that time. And then we've averaged out the cost of the daytime rate and the cheap rate, which comes out at roughly 20 pence per kilowatt hour. So that would give you a monthly bill of 122 pounds and 16 pence. Again, significantly lower than running it on an inefficient gas boiler. That's it for today's video. Again, apologies for the mistakes that I made, but I'm big enough and ugly enough to own up to my mistakes. Thank you to those of you that pointed it out, or at least thank you to those of you that pointed it out, should we say, in a more polite manner than some did. With that, I'm gonna sign off, if I'm lucky, I'll see you back here real soon for another video. Take care. Bye-bye.